Following the arrogant performance of Chris Whitty at the Select Committee in Parliament, doctors and other scientists are coming out to debunk his own theories. It is a bit ridiculous now because people like Chris Whitty and others in government uh, are so self-righteous and they say that you cannot criticize us. Essentially, everything that they say uh, should be taken without having any questions and this is just a reality. The problem is, even if they don't think it, you know, they might be good people, of course. They don't say it. They, they, every single time you see them on TV, this time in a select committee in Parliament, Chris Whitty coming out with arrogant responses. Watch this bit because he basically says that those who are saying that, you know, cancer patients and other uh, patients uh, missing their tra treatments and appointments is bad. He says that, well, no, it, you can't really compare because if we don't do the lockdown measures now, if you don't really force the boosters, then right now the priority should be the hospital beds, the people with the virus. Well, it seems to be that's not really the reality, is it, Chris Whitty? Yeah, I think uh, this, this is sometimes said by people who have no understanding of health at all, but I don't think it's said by anyone who's serious, if I'm honest. Well, that's a good start, is it? Uh, anyway, let's watch the rest of it because it's just going to get more idiotic. The reality is, and if you ask any doctor working in any part of the system, they will say this, that what is threatening our ability to do cancer, what is threatening our ability to do all these things, is the fact that so much of the NHS effort so many of the beds are having to be put over to COVID uh, and that we're having to work in a less efficient way because COVID is there. Now that's the argument that used to be suitable for the first lockdown or even technically speaking last winter when we had uh, the, well, the, the second and third lockdowns straight after each other when you had the early days when hospital beds were taken uh, by people with the virus and um, doesn't mean that everybody was uh, in the ICU by the way a lot of people just admit it or a lot of people went for different reasons they were tested and they were tested positive we have a different problem now because luckily there are scientists and other doctors who are coming out to debunk this idiotic statement uh, Professor Gordon Wishart has written in The Spectator uh, to, talking about how well right now we're talking about the NHS and the government prioritizing you know, cancer appointments and, of course, uh, the other appointments, the, the, the regular NHS appointments, as opposed to not hospital beds going for the virus. No, no, no. Priority right now is the boosters and he's got a problem, uh, Professor Bishop, because he's saying that considering we've done the majority of the, the elderly and the vulnerable and the boosters are being taken by them, right now you're focusing on the children and young healthy people. This is about the balance of, uh, of course, priorities. So essentially he said that given that young and healthy people not only have a very low chance of suffering severe uh, in terms of illness in terms of uh, this virus in the first place, but also already have a substantial immunity from severe disease uh, thanks to the first two jabs, I cannot see how boosting them is more valuable for public health than doubling our focus on the most vulnerable and cracking down on the backlog of, of course, you know, other sick patients that we currently have, including diabetes and cancer. That's the reality, because it's not like the first lockdown, as I said, you know, a year ago, a year and a half ago, where, yeah, a number of, a lot of the beds were taken because of the virus, and also an ICU. Uh, now, you're saying that the NHS is busy, is busy because it's boosting children and young people. Is that the priority over cancer patients? This is, you know, you cannot just allow the mainstream media to keep um, also projecting what he's saying without being challenged. Well, thank God the spectators still exist so that people like Professor Wisher could actually write these articles. Otherwise, the mainstream media are not really showing the other side of science. Now, the uh, um, National Audit Office have also estimated that um, there have been 740,000 less urgent cancer referrals since the first lockdown, with as many as 60,000 people with missed uh, the, the cancer appointments. Now, some of these patients have uh, sadly already died and the rest of them will eventually at short term, medium term and long term and you could actually fill a large football stadium with this crowd. This is the sad reality and it needs to be spoken about more because again, one of my problems is not necessarily Chris Whitty is that the fact that Channel 4 uh, broadcasted that obviously the, the, the select committee and the interviews 
There was no one from the other side. There were no other professors or scientists or doctors to talk about what uh, Professor Wishard mentioned. That's what we have to do on this channel. Thanks to you and your support. We're going to continue to try to be objective. Subscribe to the channel. I'm my 2 and we are the media.